All right, YouTube, what you're saying? I hope you're all good. So you just got FL for you for Christmas, or you just bought FL, and you don't have a clue how to get started. A perfect video for you, I'm just going to show you how to get started in FL, basically. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Right here, we've got the playlist arrangement. Uh, over here, we've got the browser. Up here, we've got settings and where you can save your things or open your projects. Here, we've got a pause, play, song, or pattern. We've got a main volume up here, a master pitch. Uh, up here you've got a metronome, a weight input for starting playing, so that's if you're recording on a mini keyboard you'd click that and then it'd wait until you actually click something to start your melody. And up here we've got a countdown before recording, so that's using this tool up here. I'll click play. Hear that metronome counter there, that's what the countdown before recording does. Type keyboard to piano, so if you don't have a MIDI keyboard like I do, you can use your keyboard on your PC. The input midis to the piano roll up here which i'm going to talk about there as well and then around here we've got a view playlist and um, that's just this thing like i said here then we've got the piano roll and um, then we've got the channel rack and the mixer then we've got the plugin picker um open project another plugin picker tempo tapper or a touch controller so the first thing you want to do when you're making a song is you want to find out the BPM. So you can either right click it and then tap, tempo tapper. So if you have a certain value where you want the song to be, but you don't know the value, you just know in your head what it's going to be. So I'm just going to click it. So we've landed at 127 BPM. Also, if you want to do that in another way, you can click the metronome here, play the pattern, and then just turn down on the BPM. I'm gonna be making a house track, so we're gonna set our 130 BPM. And um, so the first thing is the channel rack. This is where you're gonna be making all your drums, um, your melodies, your bass, stuff like that. Um, so we've got the 808 kick, 808 clap, 808 hi-hat, 808 snare. These are just the stock ones if you go with FL. So if I click file up here, New basic 8 weight with limiter. This is what you're going to get. These sound pretty naff, um, to be honest. So I'm going to go over here to my browser, where all my packs are. If you want to purchase the pack I'm using to record this video, it's called GSC Essentials. Um, in my Patreon, in the link below, you can go get that. You can subscribe to my Patreon. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Kicks. I'm going to pick Kick 6. And I'm going to drag it and drop onto here. And for the hi-hat, I'm going to click hi-hats. Uh, hats. And I'm going to choose hat 3. And then clap. I'm going to go over the claps. Do the same. I'm going to drag and drop into the clap section. Now we've got our drums ready. I'm just going to delete the snare because we don't need the snare yet. Um, so the basic house pattern, it goes kick, hat, clap. So we're going to right click on here. Delete four steps. Also, if you want to delete notes, you right click the note. And then you can just add the notes by left clicking in by yourself. Just like that. And the clap is going to go on every second kick, so kick, clap, kick, clap, kick, clap, kick, clap. And the hats are going to go on every offbeat, so on the third one of each start of a new bar. So this is the first, second, third, that's going to go there. First, second, third, hat's going to go there. First, second, third, hat's going to go there. And just so on. And we've got that basic house pattern. Now to put that into your playlist, all you're going to do is you're going to click off the channel rack. And the pattern, you can either drag it in and then drop it, or you can just click it and press it in. Now to zoom into it, I'm going to hold Control and then the scroll mouse wheel, just to zoom into that pattern. And now we've got it in our playlist, we can click Song and then Play. Right, so now you're probably wondering how to build up where you don't want the kicks. What you're going to do is you're going to go on your pattern here, you're going to right click and then split by channel, like that. So we're going to delete all these, now we've got the kick, clap and hat, so I'm going to hold shift and then left click on the top one, left click on the bottom and I'm going to drag them all in. And now I've got my same pattern, but now you can see the kicks by himself, clap and the hat. If I wanted to play the kicks by himself over here, I'd right click the mute solo button. I'm just going to add them one by one by left clicking this time on the uh, mute solo button. Now we're going to go and add bass, um, so up here we're going to go back into our channel rack and for the bass I'm going to be using the Citrus VST, it comes free with FL Producer Edition 
um, definitely comes with a free edition, but I'm not sure about the all the other editions. So up here I'm going to left click presets, and then over at base I'm going to click deep 3. Then you can see we've opened this up on deep 3, and some of the filters have changed. So C5 over here is going to be a bass note. It's your piano over here, if you want to get that piano in a different way, we're going to close that down. Right click the deep 3, and then piano roll. Now we're in the piano roll, you can see we've got all of our different keys here. If you want to work on a certain key, snap to scale, we're going to right click on snap to scale, and then our root note, down here. I want to work in the key of E, so I'm going to click that root note. And if you want to work in a minor or something, you go back to the uh, snap to scale, right click in it. And then we've got minor, major, other, um, diminished, and stuff like that, all your different chords. I'm going to go in E, and I'm going to go in minor mel melodic. Now you can see our E key is highlighted because that's where our bass note is, our root note is. Now I'm going to click out of the piano roll and then I'm going to go down here and plus I'm going to create a new pattern called the bass. And I'm going to double click that bass pattern, open up the channel rack and then deep three I'm going to go to the piano roll. Now to record a melody again, I'm just going to click a note somewhere. And you can see it's the two bar note. If you want to change the length of the notes, you just on the end of it, you can just drag it along, um, however long it to be. I'm just going to quickly make a bass pattern here. Now I've got the bass pattern, I'm going to pitch it down an octave by holding control and the left mouse button, and dragging and selecting all of it. And I'm holding control and then down, which you're down an octave. I'm also going to take this note down a little bit. Just set all there. Yeah, we've got snow, we've got our base side. Well, if you want to change the length of these notes, like I said, I'm going to fill out the gaps by doing this. And I'm going to put this um, bass into our playlist. I'm just going to click off the piano roll, click off the piano roll. And our bass just the same thing we did for these. We're just going to drag it and drop it or click it, paste it in. And now you can see the length of these isn't the same as the length of this. We've got this part, but it sounds like. So I'm just going to hold control and do the same thing in the piano roll, left click and select all these. I'm going to hold shift and then left click and then drag it over. Now you can see we've got a full um, loop here. Now let's say we want to change the volume and add effects to all of these things. So we're going to go back into the channel rack and you see these have got numbers on here. So in the mixer, this will go to channel number one, this will go to channel number two, channel number three. And this one's not selected yet, so we're just going to crank that up to number four. And on the mixer, you can see one, two, three, and four. So the kick is number one, so I'm going to right click it, rename it kick, and I'm going to give that a color as well. And on the clap, you can see it's number two. I'm going to rename color, rename it clap, and then change it to a different color. The hat is number three. I'm going to do the same again. Rename that hat, give it a color as well. And then finally, the deep three. We're going to call that bass one and give that color as well. You can see now I've got it nicely laid out. I'm going to close on the channel rack and I'm going to play the song. These should go up the different levels. I think them claps are a bit loud, so just the volume down here. I'm going to turn that down a little bit by using the scroll wheel or left clicking and dragging. Now to add effects, I want to add effect on my bass. I'm going to left click over here, and then now we've got all these effects that we can add. To my bass, I want to add a reverb. I'm going to click Fruity Reverb 2. If you want to know more about this VST, um, there's plenty of tutorials out there for how to learn Fruity Reverb, Fruity Delay, every VST about. 
Um, so we've got our little presets over here. I'm going to change this to the venue. See what that sounds like. So up here we're going to change the dry to 125%. And we're going to turn the wet down a little bit and the early reflection level down. You know, you can see we've got a nice heavy bass. But if I play that again, that's going up here, it's going way too high. Um, I mean, it's just going to not sound good on speakers and um, stuff like that. So I'm going to play the song again, play all of them. We're going to take that bass low down. Alright, so now you pretty much know the basics. If you want to add effects and everything, we're just going to go back into our browser. I'm going to go on effects. I want to add a white noise. Let's go over and drag that in. But this effect isn't on tempo, as you can see. Um, it goes over the line. Um, if I play it, you can see it's way off. But up here, there's a little tool, stretch audio and resize and clips. You can either click this, or I'll click shift and M. I'm going to click it. And I'm just going to use that control and scroll again. I'm going to put it onto the bar. Now it's nice and organized. And again, I'm going to highlight these and take them out. And now we've added some white noise. This also sounds way too loud, so we're just going to double click that. And now we open up this audio. Uh, we're going to put that in track five. And then we're going to name that WN for white noise. We're going to change the colour to a blue colour. And then we can change the volume of that. More effects, you can add a crashes and rises. So I'm going to go on a crash. I'm going to start this off with a crash. I'm going to add a riser. Over here. I don't know why that's just gone. What on earth? I'm going to zoom in again. And then put that on tempo. Risers, you don't necessarily need to put them in the mixer and um, change the volume of these or with anything, any effects that you've dragged and dropped in. Over here is a little decibels, um, it's a gain thing, so you can just left click it, drag it down for less decibels, for less volume, drag it up for higher decibels, higher volume. A little trick I like to do, you can see the different volume, but they go into each other. I'm just going to take this up, and you see how it's like the same level now. It looks the same level. Take it a bit more up, and then that should sound. You know, see now that sounds like the same volume. And that's basically it for the video. If you want to check out more tutorials, Click on the left side of the screen here for my full list of uh, playlist of FL Studio tutorials. If you did enjoy the video, go down and smash that subscribe button or click here where my subscribe button is here. Go subscribe to my Patreon, link in the bio. And with that said, that's about it for this video. I hope you have an amazing new year. And um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.